Hello, happy Monday. This is your angel message. Monday, this week, we have a last quarter moon in Leo. Leo is all about being bold and letting your light shine. And last quarter moons are very helpful for times when we come to crossroads and we need to let go. And my guess is you might be feeling a little bit of that. So one of the things that we can all do right now is to embrace love, which I'm going to use in addition to my deck, The Power of Love by James Von Prague, and let go of fear. So I'm really holding that for each of us today. You can choose position one, two, or three. And let's see what the messaging holds for the week. If you're choosing position one, the card you get is peacefulness, recognizing that balance, kindness, and love brings calmness to your soul. From my card deck, we get helpful people and travel. So when you put these two together, you get peacefulness, bringing calm, helpful people and travel, which is an area of the Bagua map. If you do practice feng shui, it's going to be the lower right hand corner. It is of the metal element. So you can tune into the feng shui in that area, make sure that it's really supported. But what I would say with these two things together, and if you want more information on the Bagua map, look at the discovery vault at school.genanicole.net. But these two two um, cards together. What are you thankful for? And I would really take a moment here to think about how your situation, your spaces, the people, how your body feels with your situations around certain people with the events going on. And if it doesn't feel good, the energy is telling you that it's not of peace. If it doesn't feel calm, if it doesn't feel tranquil, do we need to revisit it and maybe really looking at who the peaceful, helpful people are in your life and giving thanks. So if you're um, choosing position one, I would say tune in to the people in your life. Are there relationships that you need to maybe transform, rejuvenate, let go of? Are there difficult conversations that you need to have? I would also say bring some peaceful offerings and gifts and love to your ancestors because that's um, those two together. And Ancestors bring us so many lovely gifts, right? Oftentimes you can be like, oh, epigenetics and oh, this was passed on and oh, but there's a lot of lovely gifts to be appreciated and loved on as well. If you're choosing position two, I'm going like top middle of the deck. Hmm, We get past, so let go of your past. And the card out of my deck is build. So let go of the past and build a new future. Um, What the card from the Power of Love deck says is through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. I would also say to check out your bedroom. Your bedroom and the center of your home can oftentimes be connected to the heart, vitality of the heart. So when we put these two together, what part of your past can you let go of so that you can fully step in to building the new? Sometimes we have a really difficult um, flow with thinking about things that we have built or thinking about things that we've created. It can be really hard to just see those go away or to think about those even moving away. However, if it doesn't feel good, tends to be the theme today it's not good. So think about what have you created? What have you built that doesn't feel good? What parts of your past can you truly let go of? Maybe do some ritual, write a letter to that person, place, thing, or event. Think about your past. What do you keep thinking about time and time again? We have to perhaps let that go to build this future forward, to build the new for you. So what is it of your past that's taking up space in your heart? And can we do something this week? to Let that go. Be inspired. Maybe some forgiveness work. If you're choosing position number three, that's it right there. Pass again, one in the middle, but also peacefulness again. (laughs) Weird. So if you're choosing position three, go back and listen to one or two when it comes to pass and peacefulness. But I'm also going to choose a card that is just, that is interesting. You're seeing me shuffle and they go into the middle of the deck priorities. So think about your past that maybe have been peaceful or not, and really get your priorities into check. You understand the paramount importance of manifesting love in all situations. And the card out of my deck is intentions. Hey, Steven. (laughs) So when we put these two together, what is your intention? Intention stands for I naturally tell energy, newly transform and initiate oneness now. So thinking about this, 
what is it that your mind is focused on? And really, what are your priorities? What are your values? How is your mind focused on the intention of what your values and priorities really are? And maybe it's just a matter of revisiting what you are intending, every intending, every thought you think, word you speak, action you take is a part of intention, whether you know it or not. So this position might be telling us to bring a little bit more peace to your past and create a brighter future moving forward to really revisit and evaluate and assess what is my intention right now? What are my thoughts? creating? What are my words creating? Am I actually really prioritizing what's important to my heart? So whatever it is that you choose to let go of, I am sending you a ton of love and only intentional wishes for fear to be eliminated and more love to come in to counterbalance for the world. I'm sending you so much heart energy. I hope you feel it. Enjoy letting go this week.